everyone and welcome to this collective worship with me, Hannah. Today I thought we would start off with a game. So I want you to listen to what I say and follow the instructions. Are you ready? Put your hands on your head. Touch your cheeks. Pat your shoulders. Was that easy? Probably. Okay, let's make it a little bit harder. This time, listen to what I say and don't copy what I do. Are you ready? Clap your hands. Nod your head. Stick out your tongue. Are you getting the hang of it? Okay, now we're gonna do it faster. Remember, do as I say, not as I do. Blink really quickly. Rub your tummy. Shake your head. Touch your neck. Touch your nose. Frown. <laughs> that was much harder, wasn't it? Rules can be so confusing, especially when I was doing something different to what I said. Today, I'm gonna tell you a story, a story from the Bible, from the New Testament, all about how some people were saying one thing, but doing another, a bit like what I was doing. One day, Jesus was teaching all of his friends and followers, and he was explaining how the Pharisees, these guys, who were the church leaders, were really good at learning all of the rules in the Bible. There was over 600 rules for them to learn. But Jesus was explaining to his friends about how these Pharisees were not very good at following the rules. They would teach other people the rules and then they would do the exact opposite themselves. These Pharisees did everything for show, just so people would look at them and think they were fantastic. They would take the best seats at the dinner party, uh, the best seats in the church. They'd wear the fanciest clothes with the biggest tassels. They'd say the longest prayers with the biggest words. And they demanded that everybody should love and respect them all the time. But Jesus was the total opposite of those Pharisees. He was born in a dirty barn at Christmas time, born into a poor family. He never had a lot of money and he never bragged about himself. He told people to say simple prayers, whatever they could, and to love and help other people more than love and help yourself. Jesus told all of his followers something important. He said, if you put yourself above other people, you will be put down. But if you humble yourself, you will be honoured. And today I want to focus on that word humble, to humble yourself. Jesus wants us to be humble. He wants us to be humble like he is, not like those Pharisees that thought they were so fantastic. So what does humble even mean? You might want to pause the video and have a discussion about what you think it means. To me, being humble means putting other people first, not bragging about yourself and not being selfish. This might be like, Having some really exciting news to tell everybody, but letting your friend tell their news first. Or not bragging to everyone about how you came first in the race when your friend beside you came last and it might hurt their feelings if you went on and on about it. Or not thinking that you are just better than other people. When we are humble, we think more about other people than ourselves. Do you think that you would be able to do that today? I'm going to pray to God now, because as a Christian, I believe that he can help us become more humble, more like Jesus. So you might wanna close your eyes and listen, or you might want to make this prayer your own by saying, Amen at the end. 
Let's pray. P is for praise. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to this earth to teach us lots of things, and especially today, about being humble. R is for repent. We are sorry when we are selfish and proud and when we brag about ourselves or our achievements. A is for ask. God, help us to be more humble. Help us to think of ourselves less and to let other people shine. Y is for yourself. This is a time when you can reflect on this message or just talk to God in your own way. I'm going to leave a few seconds of silence for you to do that now. Amen. And I've got one final thought for you today. Which would you rather be, a lion or a lamb? In the Bible, Jesus is often described as a humble lamb. He's also described as a lion sometimes, which must mean that he's really brave and strong too. I wonder how you would describe yourself. Would you be the king of the jungle or would you be a little lamb? Or would you choose a different animal? If you would, I wonder what that says about you. And if you would like to extend your collective worship session, I would recommend watching a song called The Lion and the Lamb. I'll put a link below. That's all for today. Have a blessed week, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye!